Hey there guys, welcome back to the lab. So I'm making this video, uh, I've gotten a couple of questions about uh, what the internals look like, how I wired up the jumper switches, um, that sort of thing. So um, here's what it is. Here's the internals. Here are the two jumpers that I featured in my last video. And I'll put the links to these in the descriptions below. So this top one controls hum. Turn that on and off. This bottom one is what they call a test jumper. So with this in the on position and the hum off, every, I don't remember, 30 seconds, between 30 seconds and four minutes, you're gonna hear a sound coming from the speaker. And if you fire your blaster, um, it, it's kind of like a feedback or an interactive mode. Um, if it does it during the video, then I'll demonstrate. But, uh, so here are the jumpers. These switches. I wired up, um, these guys. These come in, like, a ribbon cable. You can kind of peel them off. There's a male end on one end and female on the other. So I took the male end, soldered it to the terminals on the switches. Follow it down. Runs down to the jumper slots down here. And these you just plug right in. You can connect or disconnect. Easier said than done. There, see? It's the right size, you just take it and push it right on. The switches act as um, when they're in the on position, they are shorting out or making the connection between these two pins, which is what causes the, the different effects, um, I guess. Um, so Doug, um, Ghost Lab 42, demonstrates in one of his videos, if you take a jumper and jump the, the hum pins, then you get the hum, which is effectively the same thing as connecting it to a switch and turning the switch on and off. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, I'm not sure what else I can say. Uh, the same is true for the switch in the wand. I don't want to take it apart because it's kind of a pain. Um, but the jumper is wired the same way. There's a slime jumper on the board within the wand itself. Uh, and it's the same exact setup. Took two of these guys wired it to the jumper, coiled the cables around, took the other two ends and wired it to the switch, and boom, you're done. Um, there's that, and there's actually, it's actually just the right height. Um, if you look here, that's about how long they are. And it's the right height for, it still allows you to put your, your motherboard on, and there's enough clearance for everything in here. Um, so I'm going to turn this off. So hum is off. The interactive jumper is off. I'm going to turn that on and then turn on the wand. This should start up the interactive mode. You cannot mess with the hum and then get the interactive mode. So interactive mode jumper is on or shorted. Now, well, just to be safe. I guess we'll power this down. So, procedure should be this. Turn the interactive jumper on. Battery pack on. Wand on. Okay. Now we should be in interactive mode, so hopefully when I'm talking we'll get a noise that comes out of this thing, like a monster or a ghost, and I can fire, and then you can see what happens. It's pretty cool. Um, but as you can see, I've got Doug's 3D printed um, battery holders here. You do have to take some material out of um, the booster area in order to get this to fit, but it does work rather nice. Um, fits perfect in there. There's plenty of clearance. Battery lasts a nice long time. Uh, this is the DC 
$12.98A. I got it off of eBay. Um, I think they sell it on GBFans.com, but the price there wasn't great, and I was able to get it from source it from eBay um, for a little bit better price. Just as long as I have it open here, we'll check out the other internals. It's the Maddie Spirit Blaster. Um, here's his speaker module. A little bit of wire management. Here's the second booster tube cable, if that looks like. This is just a, a an end of coax, a, a coax um, splitter, I guess you call it. Not a splitter, but um, I don't know. Something you put in between two pieces of coax cable. Uh, drilled this out to make the, um, that's actually Cat 6 Ethernet cable. And then I just kind of put it into the pack and made sure that it would clear the motherboard, which it does. It's nice. Um, this is actually how I did the venting part. And yes, that is <laughs> a Diet Mountain Dew can. I took it and make a cone out of it so that it would fit in there. Drilled out the, the area for where this would go. And the LED in here is actually the LED that comes from the factory spirit wand. I repurposed it. This cable actually comes with Doug's kits. So if you take this LED, plug it into this cable, and it goes up into, way down here, there's a vent plug. You connect that there. Oh no, it's a ghost. Slime a guy with a positron glider, huh? So there you go. That's the interactive mode. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off, turn that off, and then you can turn it back on. As I demonstrated in the other video, the hum is on the fly, you can change it whenever you want. Now there's no hum. Now there is hum. As I said, stupid loud. Um, there's a lot of power from this little tiny speaker. Um, uh, anyway, the the vent um, cable gets plugged in here, and like I said, this comes with, with Doug's kits. Um, he actually says in one of those instructions that if you find an LED that you can repurpose, you can plug it into this cable, and it works. Um, this is a Diet Mountain Dew can that I made in the shape of a cone, hot glued it in place, and there's a little hole at the end here. Um, where I stuck the LED. Uh, now I did have to drill out because this um, the end filter is two sections. You have to like, take this a lot of material out in here. And, and basically, I wanted the, the reflectivity of the can, so it's just bare aluminum on the inside uh, to reflect some of the light. It's not the brightest LED in the world, but it works, and that's what I was going for. So, and these are the screws. I know they're not screen accurate, but I like the way they look. So with that, I think I'm going to sign off. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to all the parts I used um, for the jumpers and the switches and the cables in the, uh, in the description. So check that out. And uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Have a great day, everybody.